Hello, welcome to A Plus on Site NC com. We're here with a, another tutorial and today what we're going to be talking about is if we want to install a new CD drive. Now we've already unhooked this machine, we've already got the side panel off and what we're going to do is um, all Dells are different. Some cases in, that come from Dell hinge open and um, have uh, ribs that slide in and out, kind of a green chassis ribs um, and you put the uh, green ribs in the side of the CD-ROMs when they slide in. In this case, what we're going to do to effectively remove this CD-ROM and replace it and tell you about uh, the process of doing that is you press this little button and the front cover of the case comes right off and this Dell here and we'll sit it to the side and what we're going to do is there's one screw holding um, the CD-ROM in place along with a couple screws that are guides. So what we'll do is take the screw out and having a magnetic tip screwdriver or Phillips head often helps keep um, your screws from rolling away in the case. Now we just uh, take and firmly wiggle the power out. We firmly take and wiggle the IDE cable out and um, occasionally there will be an audio cable and you'll have to detach that as well. Now we'll simply slide this CD-ROM out and blow off some of the dust and as you see these guides here help it uh, hold into place and is how Dell has this case manufactured for them. Now in the event that you would replace this drive with another DVD burner or uh, DVD reader, ROM, or CD writer. You would uh, take note of how it was jumpered. And here in kind of gray print, it tells you uh, cable select, slave, or master position. And this one here is in the cable select position. Now, more than likely, you'll just use that same jumper setting for any drive you would replace it with. You would take and insert your new drive. Also take note of the color of your case and um, in some cases the drive might be too long if you're dealing with a, a mini ATX case and you'll have to get a shorter drive and be sure to purchase the right kind of drive. You'll properly jumper the CD-ROM drive. You'll take note that normally this red, red the IDE cable has a red edge to it which signifies pin 1. Typically pin 1 will go nearest to the power plug. So you'll just reinsert the IDE cable. You'll reinsert your power rather gently and it's keyed. Be sure to put it back in the right way or you might have a big boo-boo later. And you'll take and put your screw back in and if you have any problems when you reboot your computer you might need to reconfigure your jumper setting on your master or slave drive and say the one at the end of the cable is master and the one at the middle or the second spot on your IDE cable is the slave and that should resolve any problems but typically you can replace the drives and use the same jumper configuration that you removed the old one from, providing it was working prior and you'll have no problems. This is the conclusion of our tutorial on how to add and remove a CD-ROM or DVD drive. Good day.